All right, uh, let's look at the homework 7.3, problem number 3. All right, so uh, let's evaluate uh, this uh, function g here. All right, so uh, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, simplify this uh, function here. So I'm going to find the antiderivative. So uh, uh, antiderivative of 1 over t would be a natural log of absolute value of t. Right, then you're going from x to y. All right, so we have a natural log of plugging the top uh, top number. Uh, so natural log of absolute value of y minus natural log of absolute value of x. All right, and if you want, uh, so subtraction, you can combine it as a natural log of absolute value of y over x. All right, so we have that. All right, so if you want to compute this, so if you want to find the g of uh, 6, comma 1, so x is 6 and y is uh, 1, so you have natural log of absolute value of uh, y is 1 and uh, x is uh, 6. All right, and uh, you can just uh, leave it like that. Uh, if you want, uh, since uh, 1 over 6 is just a reciprocal of 6, so you can write it as a natural log of 6 to the negative 1, then you can place it uh, right in front. So it's actually the same thing as negative natural log of 6. Right? So you have a negative natural log of 6. All right, and how about the part B? Right, g of uh, 6 comma 3. So this is just going to be a natural log of absolute value of, let's see, y is 3 and x is 6. So you can simplify uh, 3 over 6 is 1 half. So you have a 1 half. You don't really need the absolute value because 1 half is uh, a positive. So, but this is going to be, again, 1 half is a reciprocal of uh, 2. So we can place a negative sign in front, just like uh, part A, right? So it's going to be a negative natural log of 2, right? So uh, let's type it in, right? So we got uh, negative natural log of 6 and uh, negative natural log of 2, right? So uh, let's check the answer. All right, I came back and it looks like uh, we got this one correctly, all right? That's it. I, uh, I hope that uh, this was clear.